In combat, the system soldiers use need to be interoperable, but current training systems are separate and stovepiped. The dozens of simulator engines the Army employs don't work with each other. The Synthetic Training Environment, or STI, is being created to address this, converging live, virtual, and constructive simulations and enabling the Army to train as it fights. Key to this readiness revolution is the training simulation software. TSS is a centralized runtime engine for simulation and training, powering all the components, middleware, and peripherals that will provide the end user with realistic and immersive military training. Instead of a collection of systems that don't talk to each other and are costly to modify, the Army will have a single training environment providing the architecture for every simulation. In short, TSS is the system for all STI technologies to plug into. Researchers, programmers, and engineers from STI s and are currently prototyping the TSS architecture, and their approach is made up of three essential pieces. Generative programming, the integration of existing STI components, and the assessment of current technologies. Generative programming, the first key piece, is the fully automated generation of STI-ready models and behaviors, as well as training software that is sustainable over a long period. This technology takes Army doctrine and automatically applies it to create newer, updated, and interoperable simulations, automating what typically takes teams of workers significant time, money, and resources. Additionally, the use of an open architecture and common application programming interfaces, APIs, allow the TSS to represent and adjudicate all user inputs and all simulation entities. The open architecture also allows for development across the entire Army, keeping the production and improvement of STI systems from getting tied to a single performer. The integration of existing STI components is the second essential piece of the TSS prototype effort. Currently, STI s and is collaborating with artificial intelligence researchers to plug models and behaviors into the architecture, and they've also integrated existing components like One World Terrain to form the baseline of the TSS. There are numerous new components and technologies that could be leveraged for TSS as well, but these technologies must first be evaluated to ensure they are efficient, scalable, and interoperable. STI s and will evaluate a vertical slice of industry solutions and advise the STI cross-functional team as they identify TSS technologies for acquisition. STI s and has already begun examining industry technologies like cloud gaming services and cloud-based platform-agnostic simulation development tools. Scalability is a necessity for the STI and is a key capability that TSS will provide. Cloud computing removes the need for most on-site hardware and allows software to be deployed and updated remotely. By leaving single-server architectures behind, systems will be able to massively increase entity counts for large-scale simulations, and their virtual worlds will persist when distributed systems and users are disconnected. Ultimately, the TSS architecture will be the hub and spoke core of the STI, seamlessly integrating live and virtual training artificial intelligence, and simulated battle spaces so that soldiers can train flexibly, cohesively, and at a lower cost, all at the point of need. The Synthetic Training Environment, revolutionizing training to build readiness.